Not many know more about the golf swing than Sir Nick Faldo. Here are some of my favorite Nick Faldo drills and tips. The final drill on the video is Nick Faldo's signature drill, and I have to say, I use it all the time when my swing is off the rails. Enjoy. So if that moves and pulls everything round, we then get ourselves into this set position. We've completed, really, almost a swing. And our plane check from that position is just slide the hands down and then check where that grip is pointing. And it should be, if I put a ball midway between my foot and the ball, that, that grip should be pointing pretty close to that ball. Now I'm on plane for the backswing. Now all I've got to keep doing now is turning the shoulders and moving the weight onto my right leg. So if I keep coiling up, I've now made a very good backswing. Notice the wrist position is exactly the same as I started. I haven't all of a sudden cupped it this way or tried to arch it over to shut the club face. It's nice and neutral. Your body turn, your, your body swings your arms, okay? Your arms do not swing your body. So the very important is to learn a really good sequence in how you move your weight over, yeah? And that is really as simple as um, learning to put your weight, I call it 90, put 90% 90 of your weight onto your right foot, yeah? So you learn to get over. So by simply moving your right butt backwards, your right pocket behind you, your weight has to go. So if you, if you stay here, I've still got my weight on my left foot, I can't pick it off the ground, can I? So you want to get over. So in the golfing terms, I used to do a lot of these drills. Jack Nicklaus used to do this every morning, warming up, simply putting his weight over to his right foot, so he's literally 90%, and you crank your left hip over, your left pocket over, there's your big backswing, you've seen great backswings from Sam Snead and Tom Watts and all sorts of people like that, and then you plant it down, there's your weight transference to start down, and then you fire through. So. Next important thing, if you can do that really well, if you really believe in that, then you want your arms to connect with your body, to go in sync with you. If you simply don't move your arms, just lock them in and do that, I'd like you to think that's a pretty good takeaway position, isn't it? That's what we're all trying to get to. Everything's moved away in one unit, club is in the right place, yes, agree. So that's all we're looking for, then we keep cranking. We keep turning, we get our left shoulder under our chin, that's very important, yeah? And as I said, then we start down from the ground up. So get your club face square, get your grip in the right place, and your left hand is like your hammer. If you can just pick it up and put it down, that's how your left wrist works in your swing. Very much up and down, so it works up here, doesn't it? It collects the ball and it's up here, so you're, you're hinging this way with you. So why not start with that thing? And that helps you find how to grip it, yeah? Where your strength comes from. And if you're too weak, ouch, that hurts. And if I'm too strong, whoops, it doesn't want to come straight up. So find where you're going to grip it. Club face is square. And it's like a hammer. There you go. Right hand's got to do different. Right hand is working this way through the ball, either hanging on to the angle or it's releasing. So your right wrist works a different way. So think about that. They don't work the same. This fella's going here and around. This fella's doing the up and downs. So that's quite a cool way of... So you get a really good grip. You crank it up. That's how you're going to set your wrist at the top of your swing. They're cranked at 90%. Now I just lock it in, move my weight, bang. There's the plane of my swing. The preset drill. This is probably my first drill I ever did. It's obviously one of my favorites because what it did for me was really give me some confidence on my backswing. When, when I was working so hard in changing my swing, I needed something, I needed a boost so when I got to the top of the swing, I knew I was in the right position. So let me show you how you do this. And I, it's got to be done absolutely correctly to get the full benefit out of it. So we take our normal address position. I've teed the ball up for these exercises because striking the ball is not the most important here, thing here. We want to learn to teach the body these new positions. So take my address. Now what I'm going to do is set my hands here without moving them backwards, right the way to the full set position and you can see two important things. One, the shaft is exactly in line with the one on the ground there, and it's also exactly horizontal. Now, if we go to this sort of position and then start to turn, it's going to be incorrect. Or if we pull it too much inside, incorrect again. These are absolute musts. And from here, I can see this one quite clearly. 
And this, the horizontal one, may take a little bit of time to double check, but once you get the feel of this one being parallel to the ground, you've got it. So set the wrist there, and then all we have to do now is just continue turning. Just turn those shoulders, left shoulder under, and then look at that. That's the best top of the backswing position you're ever going to be in your life. Absolutely spot on. So let's bring it back down again. So we wind it up simply with the shoulders turning, moving the weight to the right. We've got it absolutely spot on. Now what we will do is hit it from that position. We will set it to there, check everything for a split second, turn and release.